Hi children, welcome to Eclid Learning. So uh, this is the fourth chapter for grade seven workbook uh, activities. So uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos, there is a separate playlist for uh, grade seven uh, textbook. So uh, this is another playlist where I will be discussing all the workbook activities. So uh, first of all, you uh, better go and watch my uh, chapter four grade seven textbook video and then you study that and then you complete these exercises by yourself after that uh, please come and uh, try to check whether your answers are correct or wrong because uh, don't just copy the answers directly from the video because then you are not getting anything okay let's start word processing and one uh, you have to uh, put a tick for the correct statements and a cross for incorrect statements so first one word processing is a computer hardware based operation wrong because it's a software related uh, operation it's actually a word processing is like software related thing and uh, then comes the open office write is a word processing software yes that's true MS Word is the very first word processing software created. Wrong. So if you check your textbook, actually Word Star, this is the actually first word processing program which was developed in 1979. So uh, based on this, uh, that statement is wrong. Okay, fourth one, Linux is not a operating, sorry, not a word processing software. Yes, that's true because Linux is an operating system. It's not a word processing software. So this statement is correct. What is word processing? What do you mean by word processing? So that means uh, you can compose, that means create, edit, or store, right? Any text document in any style or any format you want, right? So that is actually word processing. Clearly explain the term word processing software. So software means the computer program which helps you to do the word processing basically right so the computer program capable of creating a document edit it modify it its styles and formats and everything and then if you want you can save it or if you want you can print it right so all these things are supported in word processing softwares list five advantages of using software for word processing so you know now in earlier days we didn't have word processing softwares right either you have to write it with your hand write handwritten documents or you have to use this typewriter so uh, main issues were like uh, the clear like uh, the presentation the look uh, of it and uh, now modification those things can be easily done in this software so like that so many benefits are there uh, over the traditional way of doing that right so here, what are the five advantages of word processing? Can create documents, can edit very easily, right? And can store these documents for future usage, can print documents and you can take multiple copies at the same time, right? And uh, you can do the formatting, stylings, right? So if you manually do it, it's very limited things you can do. But uh, due to the usage of word processing software, you can do any kind of formatting, right? editing and all it's very easy right and then it helps to uh, do this uh, grammar and spelling correction as well and it shows all the errors and give a chance for you to do the correct so like that there are so many benefits uh, of word processing software and in the third one they have given some pictures for you and asking you to fill uh, and these squares right so the first one a is actually Microsoft uh, Office Word. So this is the relevant uh, icon. And B, Open Office Writer, it should be this one. C, Coral Word Perfect. And this is this Word Perfect thing. So here it is. D, I Work Pages. So it's here. And then final thing is Libra Office Writer. It should be this, this one very easy because the name itself is available there. Okay, in activity 4.3, so there's a sentence, I'm a rabbit, I like carrots. So they're asking what are the keys needed to type about sentence. So basically they have given an example, key A, the letter A 
uh, to print letter A, we need to press key A. That character A will be printed. So like that, you can tell all the letters. For example, letter I, letter T, letter M, letter A, letter R, letter B. So like that, you can write all these letters because those keys should be pressed. Right? Uh, but I like uh, to write something extra. Uh, that's why I wrote some uh, more keys. For example, now, usually in the keyboard, if you just type it, it will be simple case. Right? But if you want to type capital I, you have to press shift with capital I. So here you can tell shift key also you need it. And what about these carrots like words, right? So for that you have capitals in, in a row. So it is easy rather than always uh, pressing shift key, you can just uh, click on or just press the caps lock and then you can change the case and then you can just type. So for this one, we can tell we need caps lock key, right? And uh, for each of these words to separate, to keep a space, you need the space key. And here, can you see this is in the one first line, this is in the second line. So for that, you need the enter key. And here, there's a kind of a space kind of thing. So you can get this space with the space bar or the tab key. So those things you can write. And here you have the full stop. So you can write that particular key also so there are so many other keys uh, don't just write the letter keys because you you can uh, like uh, make your uh, marker or the teachers more impressed by writing the other stuff okay in this one they're asking what are the outputs obtained when typing the following key right now in usual keyboard when you type it will be simple letters right so if you tie, uh, press shift and letter D, you will get the capital D, okay? And here, E, enter key, and then you uh, press letter B. So these all these should be uh, simple letters because uh, don't do that mistake. In the default keyboard, it's simple letters. If you don't press the shift key or the caps lock, default, it will be simple. So here, simple E, after you press enter, letter B will go down. So the output should be like this. E and B in the next line. And then you press the caps lock and then you type B, I, G. So all these three letters should be caps like this. Next one, D. So D should be simple. And you press the caps. So that means letter M, all the letters after this should be capital. So M should be capital. Here you press the shift and K. So K should be capital. And then shift and H. So here it should be uh, letter H. Actually uh, here there should be a plus. Otherwise nothing will happen actually. If you if this uh, shift and K, K will be simple. Okay, so there's a small confusion here. Uh, but if you press shift and then K, not just the simple K will be pressed. But if you press shift and H, K both together only, capital K will be there. So I thought there's a printing mistake here. So uh, check with your teachers and uh, do accordingly. Activity 4.4. This is the advantages of using the keyboard appropriately. So uh, using the keyboard properly, that means you keep the keyboard correctly and all these things will help you in so many things, especially the health hazards will be less. So it prevents prolonged uh, diseases, uh, illnesses, these bond illnesses and all these muscles related uh, illnesses. And if you keep your keyboards correctly and all, you can type fast so you can save your time and you can minimize your errors, right? And especially it can reduce mental and physical uh, fatigue, that means stress, right? So these things, uh, this is not uh, directly from your textbook. Uh, you can think and write uh, your answers, right? Write five steps to be followed when using the keyboard correctly. So when you're using the keyboard, main thing is you should, should sit properly with the correct posture, right? And you have to keep your keyboard in the correct place with the correct distance and all, right? In a flat surface. And then uh, don't keep your hands like, wrist and the palms on the table. You have to refrain from it. 
you have to avoid keeping or relaxing your hands on the table while you're typing and always try to press the keys softly don't press it very hardly because then it's unnecessary pressure for your muscles and always give a rest for your hands when you're not typing right when you're typing don't keep your hands on the uh, desk or a table So activity 4.5. So they are asking, now you know when you're typing, uh, you have to use both your hands, right? So there are specific letters you should press with specific fingers, right? So, uh, so it would be better if you refer this picture in your textbook, page 40. So uh, open this up and then check the answers. Then you will understand what really happens now. Uh, for example, if I quickly explain this orange color finger, that means little finger on your left hand should cover this orange color letters. Understood? And this one, this is the ring finger of your uh, left hand. So it should cover these letters, only four. And this is the middle finger of your left hand. So it should cover these letters. And this one is your index finger of your left hand side. It should cover these two lines, right? And thumb, it's blue. All these keys can be thumb can be done using uh, right side and the left side all together, right? So for example, space bar you can press with any of these thumbs. Then this one again is the index finger of the right hand side, which will cover these two lines, and middle finger of the right hand will cover this line, and uh, ring finger will cover this one. For the right hand and these all these keys should be covered with the uh, little finger of your right hand side so if you are very familiar with this one you can easily answer the other question so based on that letter j should be pressed with q this finger that means in your right hand side it should be your index finger letter s should be with finger b that means the ring finger of your left hand side. Shift, so there are two shift keys. So either you can press with a little finger of your left hand side or a little finger of your right hand side. Space bar, I told you in the, uh, when I'm explaining the early pictures, you can use both these thumbs, E and P. And for the percentage mark, right, it's uh, near like the number key, the number key five, so it should be pressed with D. That means the index finger of the left hand side. And question mark, it's actually in the right hand side. So you can try with your little finger in your right hand side. Letter T again with finger D. And letter B with again finger D. So this is very easy if you refer the earlier picture I showed you. What is touch typing? So touch typing means without looking at the keys, you just type quickly and accurately, right? So third one, list three advantages of practicing touch typing. So touch typing means you are not looking at the keys, you are just typing. So definitely you are going to type very fast, which will save the time and it improves your skills as well, right? and can improve the accuracy. You can minimize the errors and you can quickly type. So this is creating more uh, opportunity for the, like uh, for some jobs, they directly check the speed of the typing, right? Can reduce mental and physical fatigue also. Write the importance of using a software for touch typing. So in your uh, lesson, we talked about that there are uh, some uh, softwares which support you to learn this touch typing. So especially uh, if you want to become a software engineer or related occupations also, it's very important to have good uh, typing speed. So for these things, you can practice with uh, touch typing softwares. So from these softwares, it's very user-friendly and very easy to learn this uh, typing. And they uh, teach you by step by step. Right? For example, usually they start with the uh, letter F and letter J. So those things first you will be trained. So like that step by step, they will improve. 
practice typing and you can check your self improvements so usually they will uh, tell you accuracy and your speed so those things will be like kind of a reports and charts they will show you and you can definitely improve your speed of typing also so uh, it's like a game so you can enjoy while you're learning write five software used for touch typing right so in your book there are three things rapid uh, typing tutor tip 10 and type fast so typing master and typing club i have written two examples so you can just uh, google and see what are, what are the softwares available for touch typing third one it's an activity you have it's an activity you have to do uh, create a model for keyboard and practice touch typing right so you can count the uh, number of keys you have pressed and all these things so it's kind of a game then they ask you to practice these sentences, type it and see. So I recommend you to go to one of these touch typing softwares and learn this at this stage because then definitely it will be very useful for you in the future. Then they are asking you to draw uh, an image of a single keyboard in your exercise book. So in your... Uh, school textbook there is this uh, Vijay Sekar single keyboard so you can refer this and answer uh, the next ac activity keys and combinations to type these letters uh, so to type letter U you have to uh, press shift and W to uh, type SH you have to press shift and I to press letter M you have to type U to type a letter B, you have to type letter J. For the, it's O. For Q, so for K, it's L. If you want to put this, um, if you want to make this Q, then you have to press letter Q. So for N, it's shift and plus key. For, for Iru, it's shift and R. For L, it's uh, this less than sign, right? And then for per, it's shift and M. And they're asking you to practice the following sentences by typing in the singular keyboard. Then they're asking you to draw the Tamil keyboard in your exercise book. So for that, you can use the Tamil keyboard um, for this and you can uh, easily do it. So for these letters also, you can uh, follow the similar approach. So for this letter, it's uh, they have already given A. For this one, it's um, less than. So this is a R. It's for that U. And this is a S. So R. And you have to, with the R, you have to press uh, the colon. And for this one, it's a apostrophe. And for SA, it's R, R is for sir. And if you want to make it sa, you have to press with the letter H. And for this one, it's W. For this one, it's X. For N, it's Z. And for this one, uh, so for the letter, it's L. And to make this uh, thing, it's uh, letter T. I think as I remember, this is T. Yeah, sorry, I don't remember this uh, Tamil letters exactly. That's why I couldn't read. So anyway, this one, uh, it's for this one, you have to press letter P. And they're asking you to practice the following uh, sentences in Tamil. Okay, so hope you understood, you learned something. Uh, so if you like our videos and all, please uh, do subscribe and please comment. Uh, if you have any questions and all, please do comment and uh, press the bell notification also. So you will get all the notifications when I upload a new video. So thank you very much.